All right, guys, I've had it. I'm sending my 4.99 surprise me back to sundown. I'm just joking. We're doing an RMA process for it, and I'm gonna explain to you exactly why and how rare this situation is. Sundown's amazing. So basically, we got our 4.99 surprise me's, and you know, it's the yard sale, right? So you don't know what you're gonna get. You don't know if you're gonna get something that's good. You don't know if you're gonna get something that works, anything like that. The only caveat to the surprise me is that your surprise will be worth the amount that you paid or more. Unfortunately, after trying to do some testing, we found that there was something wrong with one of them. And it was, it was something pretty major. <laughs> Let me show you. So we, we free aired this one. You guys seen the video, I think. If not, check it out. Uh, I went to go free air this guy and it wouldn't free air. Everything ohms out just fine. Um, it won't pop test, which is weird, right? But then Dan Horner from Directronics, because I asked him, I was like, hey, what do you think would be wrong with this thing? And he goes, he goes, is the, is the magnet magnetized? I, I've never thought to check that. Nope. <laughs> that one obviously is. Ugh. That one's not. So since Sundown is an amazing company, they are actually doing this through an RMA process. Uh, they're actually going to warranty this woofer and they're gonna send us out another one. Now, I am pretty confident and I'm actually just gonna say it, they're just gonna send me another 499 surprise me and I would be perfectly fine with that. Um, I'm sure Jake and I would be perfectly fine with that. Since technically in the video, if you remember, we technically traded. Jake traded, he, Jake got this one originally, I got this one. Um, we decided that since I'm more into these kind of woofers, he's more into these ones, we would trade. So it's kind of up in the air, right? It's like, well, you know, technically this is his, and I received this one, but we'll see. So, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a yard sale thing, and like I said, they are totally cool with this. They did not need to do this. Um, they're just an amazing company, you know? And obviously this one was in the yard sale because like, like we said, this thing is mint. You know, there's not a darn thing wrong with it. Um, it was obviously in the yard sale because they knew that it wasn't magnetized. It's just when they went to pick the product, they just, they don't know what the defects are because they don't necessarily label them. Um, this, this was a defect. This one I believe was a, I think I think was it Michael J Jenkins said that this one this one was his and he did a trade-in on it so that's pretty cool but yeah let's get this guy packed up get it on its way back to sundown so we can do another surprise <laughs> they already gave me the RMA and all that stuff so I'm gonna pack this up and yeah we'll get it on its way Every time that you ship a Sundown subwoofer back to them, use the original packaging. Don't send it back to them in a car seat. <laughs> negative about sundown I just want to make sure that everyone knows how rare this situation is I have sold I don't even know how much 
just a ton of sundown in my entire life. I've been with them for about 10 years now, and I have never ran into this. So the, literally, I would say it's probably one, it's probably like a one in a hundred thousand chance. Literally. Pretty rare. Can't find the good tape, so I'm gonna have to go with the cheap one. Got a nice tape gun here somewhere. Always make sure your label's fully taped on so it can't get damaged. Now we're good to go. So this is nothing bad with Sundown. This was a yard sale item. They knew it was bad. I knew it was gonna have some sort of a defect when I ordered it. It's just that there is that one little clause in there that basically allowed this to be an RMA process. And that is basically I'm not going to receive something that is worthless. And unfortunately, an unmagnetized motor is pretty worthless. <laughs> but the guys over there at Sundown are great. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, and I'm so happy that you guys are able to take care of this for us. And I'm super excited to see what the next surprise is gonna be. Now I do fully anticipate that this RMA process is gonna take a few weeks to happen. And the main reason for that is because of this whole virus thing that's going on. I'm pretty sure that shipping delays are gonna happen and, uh, and that delays just at sundown are going to happen as well. That's uh, just how it is, you know? But as soon as I get this sucker back, we will do another unboxing to see what we get. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, Comment down below what you think I might receive. Maybe it'll be another ZV518, who knows? Um, and subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching this video and have a great day.